Hey guys, Derek here from Modern Castle. Over the last few years, we've tested virtually every Roborock and Roomba model. That's 18 different robot vacuums. How do they compare to each other? Let's go ahead and find out now. For this review, we're breaking down these 18 models by cleaning performance, features, hardware, software, specs, and more. We're going to cover a lot of data in this comparison. You can go to the time codes on screen or click the link in the description for our contextual comparison, which includes a comprehensive comparative data table. We're going to start by comparing cleaning performance. For each model, we tested its cleaning performance on three different floor types and against four different debris types. When it comes to raw cleaning power, Roomba's lineup is a notable step up compared to Roborock. In our cleaning test, the Roomba E5, i3+, i7+, and S9+, all removed 99% of debris we tested against. These four Roomba models are the only robot vacuums we've tested to date to achieve an average removal score of 99%. That said, Roborock's E4, S4, and S4 Max weren't far behind at a 97, 96, and 96% respectively. Perhaps the biggest surprise is that Roborock's more expensive S6 Max V, S6, S5 Max, and S5 didn't reach better cleaning scores. All four of these high-end Roborock models struggled with our carpet cleaning tests and weren't able to remove as much of the debris. In addition, there were many Roomba and Roborock models with cleaning scores in the 91 to 95% range, which is still a solid performance score relative to many other robot vacuum brands. In addition to their vacuuming capabilities, most Roborock models also have the ability to mop floors using their microfiber mop attachment. This is a feature not present on any of the Roomba models we've tested to date. However, iRobot does seem to be working on it with a limited non-US release of a new model called the Roomba Combo. All Roborock models can mop with the exception of the S4 and S4 Max. The water reservoir capacities range from 140 to 297 milliliters with the largest on the S5 Max and S6 Max V. In addition, the S5 Max and S6 Max V include electronic water release valves. This allows you to more precisely increase or decrease the volume of water used while mopping. The mopping attachments on Roborock's other models are gravity fed, so you'll have less control over the volume of water. The microfiber cleaning cloths on all models are effectively the same. In our mopping test, we found all Roborock models to be quite effective. The S5 Max and S6 Max V with their larger water reservoirs and electronic water valves allow for greater coverage and greater cleaning control. With all that in mind, Roborock mops are not a complete replacement for a traditional mop. They absolutely help and do a good job, especially with light to moderate cleaning as well as maintenance cleaning. But you should still keep your traditional mop for deep cleaning. Roomba's parent company, iRobot, has a separate line of Brava mops. The most recent Brava and Roomba models can be linked to work together to mop and vacuum the floors using digital maps. But again, the mopping capabilities are still not a complete replacement to a traditional mop. Check the link in the description if you're interested in buying any of the Roborock or Roombas that we featured today. Next, let's talk about navigation. The most basic navigators are the Roborock E25 and E35, and the Roomba 675, 690, and 890. Roomba uses their V-SLAM technology, while Roborock uses what they call inertial navigation. It's a slightly different technology, but achieves similar performance. All of these robots clean in a more random pattern as they gradually clean the floor space. One step up from these models is the Roborock E4. It still uses the same inertial navigation, but it's able to clean in straighter paths. As for the most advanced robot navigation, we have the Roborock S series and Roomba's 900 E, I, and S series. Roborock uses laser navigation, while Roomba uses cameras and other sensors. In general, all of the Roborock and Roomba models with more advanced navigation offer a similar level of performance. In addition, all of these models can clean in straight, neat paths. This result is a super tidy and clean look when the robot is done vacuuming. As far as the overall best robot for navigation, we have to hand that award to the Roborock S6 Max V. We've been extremely impressed with the S6 Max V's navigational performance as part of our long-term test. It uses laser sensors as well as a front-facing camera combined with AI to help avoid obstacles. This allows it to be even more hands-off and complete more efficient cleanings. Let's move on to dustbin sizes. The larger the dustbin, the less you'll need to empty it. In general, Roborock offers larger dustbins compared to Roomba across their range of models. 
Roborock's E25, E35, and E4 offer the largest dustbins at 640 milliliters. The Roomba i3 Plus, i7 Plus, and S9 Plus are the next largest at 500 milliliters. The remainder of Roborock's lineup range from 420 to 480 milliliters. And the remainder of Roomba's lineup are 300 milliliters. One of the more rare features across the robot vacuum industry in general is the self-emptying dustbin. Among all Roborock and Roomba models, only the Roomba i3 Plus, Roomba i7 Plus, and Roomba S9 Plus include a self-emptying dustbin. This massively increases the capacity of debris the robot can collect, as you won't ever need to actually empty the bin on the robot itself. The self-empty clean bases are able to hold 30 full loads of debris. For many users, this means you'll only need to empty the bag on the clean base every few months. Next, we're going to compare digital mapping and navigational features. All Roomba and Roborock models we're covering in today's video can be connected to an app to be controlled via a smartphone. As for digital mapping, Roborock offers digital mapping more widely across their range of models, while Roomba only offers it on their most high-end models. Roborock's S4, S4 Max, S5, S5 Max, S6, and S6 Max V all include digital mapping, keep out zones, no-go lines, zone cleaning, room labels, and a range of other features as part of the digital mapping experience. Roomba's i7 Plus and S9 Plus include digital mapping, keep out zones, room labels, and zone cleaning. They also offer automated cleaning recommendations as part of Roomba's new iRobot Genius, which adds AI recommendations based on your cleaning sessions and usage habits. If you like what you see on Modern Castle, consider hitting that subscribe button. You'll get automatic updates from YouTube when we release new videos. It's completely free and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks so much. Runtimes vary widely between Roomba and Roborock, with Roborock offering longer runtimes. However, it should be noted that the Roborock runtimes are based on the lowest power setting, while Roomba's runtimes are based on their standard power. All Roborock models are able to run for 180 to 200 minutes, with the exception of the Roborock E25, which has a runtime of 100 minutes. Most Roomba models range from 75 to 90 minute runtimes, with the Roomba 980 running as long as 120 minutes. The more advanced Roomba models, including the 960, 980, i3+, Plus, i7+, Plus, and S9+, Plus include recharge and resume, a feature that allows the robot to return to the base to charge up, then go back and continue cleaning where it left off. Roborock includes a similar feature called top-up charging, but it's only available on the S5 Max and S6 Max V. Roborock's strategy seems to be to provide a large capacity battery and balanced power usage. By contrast, Roomba models allow for a greater power expenditure over a shorter runtime, but extend operation through recharge and resume. Either way, the result is an effectively long runtime. So let's get right down to it. Which is the best brand for you, Roborock or Roomba? If you simply want the best vacuum performance, you'll want to go with one of the Roomba flagship models, the Roomba E5, i3+, i7+, or S9+. Out of the over 50 robot vacuums we've tested to date, these are the only four models to achieve an average cleaning debris removal score of 99%. If you have lots of hard surface floors to clean, then you'll want to go with a mopping Roborock. All Roborock models include mopping capabilities, except the S4 and S4 Max, and the mopping is an extra attachment for the E4. The most impressive mopping is found on the S5 Max and S6 Max V. The larger water tank and electric water valves make a big difference. When you combine these features with the S5 Max and S6 Max V's overall navigational performance, it really is a powerful combination for both mopping and vacuuming. If maximum convenience is what you're looking for, then you'll want the self-emptying dustbin found on the Roomba i3+, Plus, i7+, Plus, and S9+. Plus. The S9 Plus has higher suction and is better equipped to deal with thicker carpets. The i7 Plus has slightly reduced suction power relative to the S9 Plus, but at a lower price point. The i3 Plus lacks the digital mapping capabilities, but it's offered at a more affordable price point and is the best value with a self-emptying dustbin. Finally, if you want a robot with digital mapping and keepout zones, we have several models to consider. The Roborock S series models include digital mapping and keepout zones. If you don't need mopping, the S4 and S4 Max are good choices. The S5 Max adds a high capacity water tank for mopping large areas, and the S6 Max V has a large water tank plus incredible navigation with obstacle detection, making it an excellent choice for complex floor plans. 
For Roomba models with digital mapping and keep out zones, the choices are limited to the i7 Plus and S9 Plus. i7 Plus's suction power is slightly lower relative to the S9 Plus, but both are great choices for excellent digital mapping. Well guys, that is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let us know in the comments if you own a Rubble Rock or Roomba and what you think of it. Check the link in the description if you're interested in buying any of the Roborock or Roomba models we featured today. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at ModernCastle.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.